Steam, GOG, and the Epic Game Store are some of the biggest storefronts to find PC games online. Together, they have more than 6,000 free games that anyone can download and play. But with so many choices, how do you know which platform to use or which games are worth your time? And what about those other game stores like EA Play, Ubisoft Connect, or websites like Itch.io that also have loads of free games? That's where I come in. I'm on a mission to search through these platforms and others to find the best free games that are fun and exciting. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to waste their time on games that are boring or broken. But Sponge, I hear you say, how will you figure out which games are worth playing? Well, the truth is I can't decide that for you. Only you know what you like. But I'll make it easier by ranking each game I play based on things that matter to gamers. For example, how much depth does a game have, and is it still popular with other players? Reviewing every free PC game on the internet is a big challenge, but here's the plan. I'll focus on some of the newest games along with a bunch of the classics, and I want to hear from you as well. Drop your recommendations in the comments so that we can check out those hidden gems too. I'll be reviewing each game based on the first two hours of gameplay. Why only two hours, you ask? Well, if a game isn't fun in the first two hours, is it really worth your time? Each game I review is ranked using the same set of rules. Here's what I look at. How easy is it to join a friend in the game? How fast can you jump in and start playing? Does the game have enough depth for the experience it promises? Is it simple to figure out what you're supposed to do? Does the game have at least four things that stand out as positives? This could be something like amazing graphics or a great inventory system. Are there fewer than four things that stand out as negatives? This could be something like pay-to-win mechanics or microtransactions at the core of the game. Would we want to come back to it down the road? Does it offer a lot of gameplay or replayability? How many people are actually playing it right now? And lastly, is it fun to play? For each of these criteria the game meets, it earns a point. A game that scores two points or less ends up in F tier. If it gets three or four points, it's a C tier game. And it goes up from there until we reach S tier, which means the game scored nine or 10 points. Once the points are added up, the game gets its final rank, S tier being top notch and F tier meaning you should pay your respects. In the end, only you can decide if a game is worth your time. I'm just here to make that choice a little easier. So click the video link on your screen because the next game might be your new favorite.